Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. <laughs> Miss Dorothy had taught Choo Choo, Cha Cha, and all their friends a magical word. Children, remember, you must always say thank you when someone does something for you. It's a magical word because it's the best way to show someone how you care about them and appreciate their help. Mrs. Charlie, Choo Choo and Cha Cha's mother, did many things for her children. She cooked delicious food for them. She did all their laundry. She even played with them. <laughs> and helped them with their homework. But one day, Mr. Charlie Choo Choo and Cha Cha's father noticed that the kids weren't saying thank you to their mother. I made some pancakes for you children. Yummy! Mm. I've also washed and ironed your clothes for tomorrow. Mr. Charlie wanted Choo Choo and Cha Cha to remember how important it was to thank others. So, he came up with a plan. He asked Cha Cha to help him find his car keys. Cha Cha, please look for my car keys. I can't find them. Sure, Daddy. Cha-Cha searched for Mr. Charlie's car keys. When he found them, he gave them to Mr. Charlie. Here are your car keys, Daddy. To Cha-Cha's surprise, Mr. Charlie took the keys. But he didn't thank Cha-Cha for his help. Huh? Mr. Charlie then asked Choo-Choo to help him wash the car. Choo-Choo, please. Spray some water while I scrub the car. Sure, Daddy. Choo Choo helped Mr. Charlie wash the car. But when they finished, Mr. Charlie walked away without thanking Choo Choo. Huh? A little while later, Mr. Charlie asked Choo Choo and Cha Cha to help him with the gardening. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, please help me water the plants. Sure, Daddy. Choo Choo and Cha Cha helped Mr. Charlie water the plants. <laughs> <laughs> But when they finished, Mr. Charlie didn't thank them again. Huh? This went on for some time. Mr. Charlie kept asking Choo Choo and Cha Cha to help, but he didn't thank them even once. Choo Choo, could you please pass me the salt? Cha-Cha, please give me a napkin. Uh -huh. 
Choo Choo and Cha Cha were very puzzled. They wondered why Mr. Charlie wasn't thanking them for their help. Chichu, Daddy is forgetting to say thank you for our help. Yes, Cha Cha, and we've been helping him so much. Choo Choo and Cha Cha went up to Mr. Charlie. Daddy, aren't you forgetting something? Mr. Charlie pretended he didn't know what Choo Choo and Cha Cha were talking about. Huh? Am I? Yes, Daddy. You're forgetting to say thank you to us. It's a very important word. You must say it to show that you care for us and appreciate our help. Is that so? But I haven't heard you say it, especially to your mommy, even though she's been doing so many nice things for you. Huh? Choo Choo and Cha Cha understood what Mr. Charlie had been doing. You're right, Daddy. We've been forgetting to say thank you to Mom. And to you, too. Even though you both do so many things for us. And so, Choo Choo and Cha Cha started thanking their mother and father for all the things they did for them. Thank you for making me this delicious sandwich, Mom. Thank you for making my t-shirt so clean. You're welcome, children. Thank you for fixing my guitar, Daddy. <laughs> You're welcome, children. And thank you for helping me find my keys, wash the car, water the plant, and so many other things today. Baby Taku had been watching Choo Choo and Cha Cha say thank you. And he decided to say thank you too. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Charlie's idea, Choo Choo and Cha Cha never forgot to say thank you again. Thank you! A magical word! Don't forget to say it like we did! But Cha-Cha, it's only a checkup! Please, Mom! I don't want to go to the doctor! Please! But everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. And that was because she wore her favorite red riding cloak every day. Hello? What should I do with my baby tooth when it comes out? You can leave it for the tooth fairy. She'll take it and give you a gift in exchange. The tooth fairy? What will she do with my tooth? Cusley grumbles and fusses about everything. He is very rude. He must learn how it makes others feel when he complains like that. 